Hey, you guys. <coughs> I'm actually on my way back home from my mom's. Um, I had to drop my niece off because she spent the weekend. And after I dropped my daughter off, I had to bring my niece home. Which is a good thing because originally my mom was like, well, do you want me to come get her? And I said, no, you don't need to come get her. I can drop her off. Not a big deal. Um, why is that car not going? Yeah, good for you because that dude should have went. Um, and... Lord, this guy does not know how to drive. He's literally holding up a whole line for no reason. All of those cars could have went by now. I want to go across. And I bet you all of these cars Thank you truck. There's a there's a center lane. It's called a suicide lane. But it's where you move into so that you can merge into traffic. <sighs> Back to what I was saying. So I needed to get a fill done. Uh, I am doing much okay, so my budgeting for this month. It's like the universe knew that I had extra money that I was trying to save because my printer broke. I had to buy a whole uh, new filter sets for my house. I'm in a Campax too, so you had to buy two sets. So I, and I have three. Actually, is that enough? Is that did I buy enough filters? Yeah, they're about enough filters. And so I have two separate filtration systems in my house, and I needed brand new filters for everything. Accidentally paid uh, more money towards my electric bill, which will be fine. I had to put money on my chiropractic bill. So, I've only overspent right now from my initial by about $300. overspent this month by $300. Last month, last month, I overspent by $107. This month, I overspent by $300 so far. And it's only the 11th. Granted, 100 of it's for electric bill, 100 of it's for medical. Those are not intended expenses this month. But still, that's $100 of unintended. I think it was like $179 of unintended expenses. Um, go. Thank you. Um, gosh, I hate when my car does that. Um, so that's almost $200 of unintended, which means, okay, it's a little bit more. I, I'm, I'm trying to keep track because from what I got on my paycheck to what I've spent so far this month, I'm tracking. And I always forget I need a minus 600 from what I'm tracking. I'll double check my numbers when I get home um, because of the fact that I do, did, did keep $600 from my school money um, for bills. But I will say, not a lot of it is frivolous. Very little, very little of it's frivolous. And the frivolous spending is coming out of cash envelopes, which is what it's for. But I'm not including that in the overage because I have the cash envelopes for it. I'm debating whether I'm going to go to the grocery store. I probably should because I... I'm trying to think of what I have to eat for dinner tonight. I have ground beef defrosted. I don't want to make a big hamburger helper. But I don't mind 
making the stuff for tacos, but I will need to get other stuff to go with that taco. Tacos or burritos, probably burritos, because I'll probably get tortilla shells. I'll try to see if avocados are on sale. Maybe grab like one tomato and chop that up because that'll last me a while. I really shouldn't put it off till tomorrow because then I'm just gonna eat junk for dinner. So um, I won't do a lot of grocery shopping because I, I honestly, I don't need a lot of things. And then I have, I think it's a pork chops I also pulled out, defrosted, and I'll make those I'll actually make those in a couple different things, but I have side dishes for those already. I have rice. I'll make, I can't remember if I have gravy, so I can probably pick up a packet or two of gravy um, while I'm at the store. Because I eat rice with my pork chops. I don't eat mashed potatoes, but I like having, but I don't mind having gravy on my rice. Okay, I know this sounds crazy, my nephews thought it was crazy until I introduced them to it. But it's basically the same thing like mashed potatoes and gravy, but rice and gravy, okay? And maybe I want a little gravy for my pork chop, and so then I'll have a little gravy for my rice. Um, I probably need to, honestly, I probably need to throw out the rice and make a fresh pot of rice. But I can do that tomorrow. Uh, my physical therapy tomorrow. When I get home, I will probably try to work on my homework a little bit. I'm kind of excited because I finally ordered my planner. My, my for because the planner that I really, 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 really super duper 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 want to get is not going to be available in stores till December. Okay, well, yeah, sorry, got a phone call. try to work a little bit on my homework and I found a planner and it's a teacher planner and so it's from July 2019 to December no July it's an 18 month calendar teacher planner. I have to double check when it comes in and I'm 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 still debating whether I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna return it I'm gonna to have to double check the dates now that I but I watch Kelly of a plan on YouTube and she um, does amazing spreads, but she also repurposes planners. And she repurposes a teacher planner for her social media. But I think it could work for just my regular planner. Um, once it comes in, I should get it tomorrow. Once it comes in, I'll look at it. I'll see if it's really what it is that I want it to be and what I can use it for. If not, I'll just do an Amazon return and I will return it. I mean, it's a, it's a killer deal at $15 for an entire kit. You know, not just the planner, but, you know, stickers and dashboards and all that. Normally, that kit itself is usually around $30-something. Um, most of the planners themselves are kind of expensive. But I've been toying with the idea of a mini planner and a classic planner. Classic planner to stay home, a mini planner to travel with. But I'm debating whether I want to tote my classic planner along. So what I might do is, you know, test it out for like a month or so, see if I want to tote around a classic planner with me. I'm actually gonna swap out my purses when I get home to a different purse because I like doing that every couple months. Um, and if not, then I'll switch to a mini. And part of the reasons why I want a mini is because the planner I have now is small enough. I usually tote it around. I have not been toting it around in my purse um, because my purse has been a little bit heavy lately. Um, sorry, I know I'm saying um a lot. I've been saying um a lot, a lot lately. Well, I didn't want to tote it around, but I need to, it's bothering me that I can't record transactions immediately when I when they happen I have to wait till I get home and I want to start being able to record those transactions immediately again so I thought about getting a mini planner and carrying that around with me or maybe I'll just get
get like instead of instead of spending the money on a mini planner just get a mini notebook and just make that a transaction log for every month because I don't really do enough to justify doing an entire spread doing a monthly calendar and doing an entire spread every week for a mini I feel like it would just go to waste especially since notebooks are cheaper than planners because you're just getting note paper in it I might look to see if they just have mini notebooks if not I'll just get a half a half thing and just use that because that'll be easier to tote around and document transactions in because I want to start I want to start recording transactions separately from cash, tra cash transactions and debit card transactions I want to start keeping those separate maybe that'll help me keep my debit card transactions under control I also ordered a new wallet that should be in my mailbox today and I'm going to get rid of my cash envelopes because I think part of the reason why I don't use them as much is because it's a little bit of a pain but having it all organized in my wallet with dividers in my wallet with easier, easier access to the money now I'm not gonna get rid of all my cash envelopes so obviously like my my sinking funds my sinking fund cash envelopes I'll keep those ca cash envelopes but like my groceries my gas my fund my spending my my main four categories I think I want to transition them out of cash envelopes and put them actually into my wallet which hopefully the wallet that I paid for will do what it is that I want it to do that is the goal You're on a budget but you kind of want chipotle kind of want a burrito bowl i forgot to get lettuce while i was at the grocery store but it still looks good so hey you guys um i fell yesterday um i fell directly on my shoulder yesterday so i just got off the phone with my doctor's office one of the nurses answered the phone and she says she's not sure if they're gonna have me come in to get an x-ray on the shoulder or what but she'll leave the message that I had fallen and I'd landed on my shoulder that um, I had surgery on and that someone from the doctors one of one of the doctors for my surgical team will call me to let me know what it is that they want to do. Um, she says she's not 100% sure if they do it for shoulders, but they may. Um, it was pretty scary when it happened. I tripped and I fell and I full on landed straight onto my arm. I, um, you know, our instinct is to put our arm out. But in my head, I'm like, that's gonna do a lot more damage if I put my arm out versus tucking my arm in. So I actually tucked my arm next to my body because I figured if it was tucked in next to my body, um, I could minimize some damage. Oof, hello, hello. So, um, my knees are bruised up. My 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 right hips actually bruised up. Um, I'm actually terrified. After it happened, I immediately iced my shoulder. I uh, just sat on the couch. Probably sat on the couch for about half an hour before I decided, you know, because my dad was like, you know, it'd probably be better if you went into your bedroom, and I did. I climbed into bed, got myself all propped up. some crunching noises I don't know if the crunching noises were from my shoulder or from the fact that I landed on a, a wood pallet that's sitting on a bunch of pieces of wood I don't know um, 
I have a wood bag. So I put one or two pieces of wood in the wood bag and I carry the wood bag in with my left arm only. I've been a lot better about that. Um, I just had my follow up with Dr. McKay. I'm so mad. Like it's an accident, I tripped. You know, I tripped. I fall on my shoulder. Literally, I panicked. I jumped up, tucked my arm into my body, ran inside the house. So, we'll see what happens. And if the doctor calls me in, x-ray to make sure that I didn't I, I, it may or may not um, I'm not experiencing any extra pain the muscle is sore like I'm terrified I broke an anchor I'm absolutely terrified but my shoulders not bruised you know I'm not all bruised up driving to Joanne's because I ordered because um, originally the planner I ordered is a is a teacher planner so it starts July no it goes August to July so I was gonna have November December to start trying to get my budget plan together and I bought some stickers on Etsy to put in there and then I realized it was a big planner not a classic size planner so that kit's gonna have to go back and great savings I was going to have gone. So I ended up ordering a different planner from Michaels. Because I did save quite a bit of money on that. Um, because I think part of my problem is I'm being thrown off because I have different categories and everything is too spread out sporadic and I need it condensed in one place and peace of mind originally I was going to wait till January to buy this planer but I bought it now and I actually I had to buy an expansion pack so I can get November December in there So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to think positive. I literally had my appointment November 5th. It is the 12th. Instead of tucking my arm to the side, I wish I would have rolled and just, you know, hurt my back instead, honestly. Because I would not be having this conversation if I had done that. Would I? Nope. Nope, nope. I would not. So, uh, I'm supposed to get a phone call back today. to my shoulder so it's definitely tighter than it was I used to have a lot more movement in my arm than I do now it may have like set back my recovery we'll see hey you guys so I did not hear back from my doctor yesterday so you guys didn't get an update I'm kind of taking over I'm washing the tablecloth so you guys are just on the table in case you hear a little roughness I am um, 
do a little work. Once I get the laundry, ooh, there goes my back. Once I get the laundry uh, going, I'm actually gonna head up towards my mom's and just spend some time with my mom today before dinner. some matcha matcha green tea instead of my traditional coffee do a little bit of homework doing laundry um, need a oh I'm gonna give this to my dad so I can remember to pack that I have the planner that's got to go back. It's going to go back tomorrow because it's too big. Um, and I'm going to take it back tomorrow. I'm supposed to get my new wallet tonight, but I'm going to be up at my mom's. So I won't switch anything over to my new wallet until late tonight when I get home. And then after physical therapy tomorrow, I'll go to Kohl's and drop off my two Amazon packages. Um, So, um, yeah, mm. I'm looking crazy today. That's okay. I got my CSU shirt on. Tonight is Buffalo Wall Wings. We are going to, um, I'm going to take my dad with me. I invited my mom, but my mom did not want to go. Um, I'm trying to get my sister and one of my best friends on the planning train, but they keep avoiding it because they don't want to have to take a hard look at their finances, which they really need to. Um, going to I really want to help them um, I have not been that great at staying on task on budget but my bills are paid and I do have that cushion um, so I'm gonna see if they wanna, I don't think I have anything planned for this weekend. Um, I'm gonna try to get them going. And I won't have my actual planners yet. And I haven't done a haul. And I'm debating if I get my November budget stickers I ordered them before like I found these really cute ones for like cheap and then I found this other person that I really really love but I don't think she does budget stickers I think she just does monthly and weekly spreads so that's fine um but I found oh my god I can't wait I'm gonna do a big haul I have a bunch of stuff to show you I probably spent about a hundred dollars on planning and budgeting supplies Close. Sorry, closing all these conversations. I'm having all these con side conversations because I'm trying to handle a bunch of stuff at once. <sighs> I wish it was like businessy stuff because your girl needs to start making more money. And your girl can't make more money while she's sitting at home um, unless it's like YouTube or something. But 
I still don't have the subscribers or viewership yet for YouTube monetization, but mm, yeah. You know, you do something uh, you love. Like YouTube is a hobby for me. It's a way to vent. It's a way to, <clears throat> you know, have a chat. That's why I love it. That's why I still do it. <coughs> Excuse me. I was, I've, I've been uploading videos to YouTube long before monetization. Um, and I'll continue to do it even when the platform, you know, slows down because there's so many other social media platforms and that's okay. You know, I still post to my Instagram. I am going to be, you know, my channel is taking, I don't want to say taking a turn, but it's adding a category because, you know, on my channel, I haven't done a lot of beauty because I'm just not, I tried, I'm just not comfortable doing makeup with my left hand. I don't think it comes out as good. And so I don't like doing it. Um, but when I can start using my right arm again, I'll start putting more get ready's with me back up because I love doing that. I love get ready's with me. Um, date night, get ready's with me, all that kind of stuff. I love doing those. Uh, just playing around with makeup. I want to start playing around with eye looks. And, you know, I started doing my daily vlogs um, for a while. Then I switched to weekly vlogs just because it was a lot easier for me. Or it used to be a lot easier for me. Now I'm having issues getting my... Um, my videos you guys have seen in the past where I've had issues getting my videos uploaded <sighs> and now I'm adding the budgeting portion to it and I'm gonna be adding a uh, planning um, portion where before the pin planning where you guys are with me while we create monthly spreads because monthly spreads will be part of the the budgeting aspects but the weekly spreads will just be a fun decorating my weekly spread in my planner and it's something I'm really really into it's my current obsession next to budgeting because budgeting is my current obsession because you know I want to I want to make sure that I stay in line and get better about budgeting and get better about extra waste and this month this month was crazy because Last month I was 107 over, okay, of my budget, which is good. I do have a cushion, so it's not a big deal. But this month I'm already like $400 over. Part of that, you know, if you watch my buddy budgeting videos, was because I had to put money on, I need to make a medical sinking fund, I need to, I, you know, I accidentally paid more towards my uh, electric bill than normal, but that's fine. Um, I had a bunch of my printer broke. I had to get whole new sets of filters for my house, just a whole bunch. And I had planned to spend the money for the planner stuff and my happy planners and all my stickers. So that I, but <clears throat> second half of this month, cause it's the 13th. I spent so much money from the first to the 13th, more than I've ever spent. So I'm hoping, because I get paid again on the 18th, but I'll tighten it up in the second half of the month and get back on track and then be all good for December. So that's the plan. That's what's happening. That's what's going on in my life. So I'm on my way to volunteer groups leadership meeting I actually sent an email stepping down from my position and I listed off three major frustrations as to why I stepped down um, oh and it's starting to sprinkle So, yeah, my school's dinner last night was, you know, on par. One person, there was two people there that were there last time. And one of the two people remembered me, asked how my doctor program was going, asked how I was doing, um, 
the actual liaison person and asked how my shoulder was. Um, and we had a conversation about finally getting my surgery and what kind of uh, movement I have as of right now and, and what we're looking for. Um, and it was kind of nice, uh, but nobody else at the table really spoke to me. And you know, my dad, my dad is very outgoing and like, I'm an outgoing person too, but like, I'm at a point in my life where if you can't be bothered to talk to me, I'm really not going to be bothered to talk to you. Plus, they pump the music so loud at Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, it bothers me so much. Um, I knew there was going to be traffic. That's okay. That's why I left when I left instead of when I was going to leave. Because I decided I did want to grab something to eat. Because I was just not feeling it. Like I made rice and I was eating my kimchi jjigae that my mom made me, which is freaking delicious. And if you have never had kimchi jjigae made by like an authentic Korean woman, you are missing out. And for those who don't know what kimchi jjigae is, it is kimchi stew with some rice. Then I was also eating some leftover wings from Buffalo Wild Wings with some rice too. I'm already going to have to make more rice to eat more kimchi jjigae tomorrow. Um, but I actually finally laid down and took a nap. Like I took an hour nap. I needed that nap. Um, but that also meant I did not have time to make myself something to eat before I have to leave. So there's like a, a, a truck stop at the exit for my group and that's usually usually I take my kiddo to McDonald's or I usually get myself McDonald's but they also have like Subway there um, and Cinnamon and you know it's a, it's a truck stop so it's got like coffee and and whatnot so I may just honestly I may get a sandwich instead of McDonald's because McDonald's is not real heavy I feel like that was so real heavy on me right now and I thought about I was like oh man do I really do I want to get coffee like I kind of want coffee but I had a cup of coffee at my physical therapist um, this morning so like that's okay but I might want to get um, hot cocoa I'm feeling it I'm like yes hot cocoa and who knows maybe they'll have the like the peppermint hot cocoa already in the machines you know like the pre-done machines that me you know pre mixes with water and stuff um, like the cheap cocoa but like good cocoa so yeah excited for that like I'm looking like like that's my incentive um, I'll probably get Subway because a sandwich is a little bit healthier and I have been eating not healthy because uh, what um, what did I have Monday um what did I have Monday I don't remember Tuesday, I got myself fast food. Oh, Tuesday, I got myself Panera. Wednesday, went with Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, that was free, though. I didn't have to pay for that one. Yeah, I think Monday, I ate at home. Ugh. Tomorrow's meals are planned out because I'm going to eat my wings my kimchi jjigae again like I ate today I just need to make more rice because I got a little rice cooker because even sometimes just making a little pot of rice it goes bad because I don't eat it quick enough but I got some delicious food to eat with my rice so yeah yeah um So I had a, there was a fill-in lady today. She didn't do a whole lot of stretching. She did a little bit. I think she was slightly nervous because, you know, Katie put in the notes about uh, my falling on Monday. So she was super nice. And then, you know, she asked if the taping helped my shoulder and Katie had taped my shoulder on Tuesday, my physical therapist, to help me with pain and swelling with the muscle. She used rock tape and taped my shoulder like she used to do when she did A-step. And that helped me so tremendously that the fill-in Katie um, she taped my shoulder today too, which has been a super duper help. 
Um, I did my Kohl's return. Oh, didn't even realize my camera had fallen, you guys. So I did my Kohl's returns. And I spent a little bit more than I had originally anticipated for like my planner materials. But I was discussing with a friend of mine, like I feel kind of selfish because I'm gonna consider it my Christmas gift to myself because I'm the only one who gets myself a Christmas every year. Um, but she said, is it truly selfish for peace of mind and for, you know, honestly, mental, like my mental health, like, because when I feel completely disorganized, when I, when I, I just, I feel lost and I don't have everything I need in one place. I don't have a planner with my budgeting with, you know, just, I don't have it all in one place and I, I need it in one place because I have it scattered. And I think that was part of my reason this month that I'm so messed up is the fact that I had my budget written out in a couple of different places and then I lost some of the pages so then I had to try to rewrite what I thought I wrote and I got myself all screwed up and then I went way over budgets and went into my checking cushion which I have not touched my checking cushion in months and I ended up touching my checking cushion and then freaking out because I accidentally overpaid a couple bills and yeah but budgeting takes time you know I've been trying to budget since June but I've been like super serious about it since October super serious when I found the budget mom um, and then I found a couple other people and like I'm still like not a hundred percent how I want to set up my budget planner but I think I think I've it, it's gonna be a combination of Emshal and June. If you watch my budgeting videos, you already know this information. You already know like where my mind is, is thinking. So I'm not going to bore you guys in my vlog about it again. But like budgeting and planning spreads and all that is like my current obsession. And I have, I have a very obsessive personality. I have discovered. Self-diagnosed. I have an obsessive personality. When I find something, I latch onto it and I obsess over it for a while. And then I obsess over the newest thing. Well, currently my obsession is fine tuning my budget, which I think is the healthiest obsession I've probably had in a while. And, you know, I'm, I'm working on it to make it better. <gasps> oh my God! I just watched this truck and this very long horse trailer almost slam into the side of an SUV and then I'm sorry you guys heard my horn because he almost hit me oh my gosh that was actually scary um, but like like I was saying my current obsession is budgeting and planning and organizing and I feel like the further I get in my dissertation schedule because I guess, so what I learned is you can't, you're not considered an actual doctoral candidate until you've hit your dissertation stage. I have not hit my dissertation stage and I'm about six months out from hitting my dissertation stage. So in six months, I will be considered a doctoral candidate. At this time, I'm just a postgraduate student. Because I was a graduate student, now I'm a postgraduate student. And then in six months, I will be considered a doctoral candidate vehicles need to hurry up so I can get over. Um, my exit is actually coming up pretty quickly. We're supposed to be doing 70 miles an hour right now. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, baby Jesus. So, and I need a hobby. I do. And I like my friend, a friend of mine, she loves Happy Planner and she has, you know, she's, she's all about Happy Planner. She's been doing Happy Planner for about three years using their system and she's actually going to be, she's thinking about switching to Agenda 52, which is a planning brand that you can get at Hobby Lobby because she's a functional planner and not so much as uh, a decorative planner and I want to be a decorative planner. Now, just because you're a decorative planner doesn't mean you're also not functional. Obviously, your planner is a function. But she barely decorates, like, 
she said, you know, she bought the stickers to decorate. She thought she was going to do the whole shebang. She never did. So, that's why she wants to switch to Agenda 52. Uh, because it's a little bit more... more what she needs because she doesn't need she doesn't need the functionality to customize her planner she doesn't need the functionalities of all the things that comes with Jimmy she can see you could still use stickers and stuff in agenda 52 um, but you know she doesn't need the super fancy pants stuff so she wants to wait until she goes to Hobby Lobby and can actually look at the agenda 52 to see if she wants to make that switch to agenda 52 I actually, Agenda 52 was actually on my list, but I like how I have more options for customization with the Happy Planner. So that's why I went with the Happy Planner, this pickup truck and his horse trailer. Like, look, I'm doing 70. Okay, you're supposed to be like doing 60 with your big old truck. So you need to calm down. He's giving me anxiety. See, that that's the truck that you see right there and he's got a big old horse trailer attached. That's the one that almost got into an accident and then almost hit my vehicle too. Like, do you see that big mama jamma? Like, look at that. Yeah. So. Um, and it was really nice to like throw some ideas off someone who's like super into the happy planner because she helped me determine that I, I don't want a classic and a mini planner so I'm actually going to return the mini planner and I thought about getting a notebook a half a half sheet notebook or a mini notebook to carry onto my transaction log but I tend to carry bigger purses so I can easily just take my planner with me like I used to carry my expense tracker with me to document um, purchases like the second I do them and I'm actually going to start carrying my planner around um, I'm probably going to carry my planner around to do that as well so okay it's getting too dark to fill and yeah so I'm going to call it a night and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow so went to my meeting last night one other person showed up Apparently, they forgot to add us to the email saying that the meeting was canceled. I could have stayed sleeping. I didn't have to wake up. Awesome. Also, I just ordered the boyfriend's Christmas gifts. I need to make note. I forget because my nephew my other nephew and his kiddo need a card and I'm only giving them each $20 because well yeah and I had actually originally planned to give the boyfriend $100 as his Christmas gift because this year I was uninspired. Then I got inspired and ended up spending less than $100. Like 75 bucks. Um, one second. Start trying to set up a meeting with my sister and my best friend for Sunday, 2 p.m. We're actually going to meet up and hang out for a little while. And we were trying to figure out where we're going to meet. My sister suggested like Burger King or McDonald's. That way their kids can go play. I think part of that is also some kids don't mess up anybody's houses. Which... If I wasn't preparing for my kiddo's birthday, 
I wouldn't care, but I am. So I'm already cleaning up big messes and getting rid of things. So it probably is better to just meet at some other place. I'm feeling myself today, you guys. I am feeling it. Okay. I got a lot done this morning as far as, oh, this is pretty. I got distracted by a really pretty coffee cup, but it's a Boston Bruins coffee cup. And I don't like being a fake fan. Like I don't hate hockey, but I'm not like a super fan of hockey and I'm not going to pick like a Boston Bruins cup just because that's my boyfriend's team kind of thing. Like, you know, I want to watch them a little, maybe if like we watched them together, then maybe, yeah, but I'm not going to like just jump on the bandwagon just because I'm not that kind of girl. Anyways, anyways, I have been feeling like so much better about my schooling now that I've kind of like what I feel like hammered down exactly the style in which my instructor wants us to write. I feel like I feel like I have a better handle on it. Um, it doesn't make me as nervous. I feel confident in writing my papers. I, I actually only have a page left I need to write for this one. Um, I need to go through and I need to make sure that I need to delete this. I need to go through and make sure that I have everything that I need for this paper before I tie it with a little neat little bow. Classes get done December 13th, I believe. So we got like a month left. Um, so, yeah. I have had to spend way too much money this month. Way too much. Yep, so I feel like I have a better handle. And then seeing how he's my gonna be my instructor from here on out. It's like, you always kind of like adjust your style to your instructor anyways. So, and especially since he's going to be the one that makes all the decisions as far as my dissertation topic goes. Yeah, I'm going to try to make sure that I am doing it the way that he wants it done <clears throat> so that my topic can get approved. Yeah. So. That is my week. That is how it's going. All right, you guys. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.